Well, today I'm happy to show you a very interesting deck. Uh, this is the earliest playing card deck that is complete. Uh, emphasize complete because it's certainly not the earliest playing card deck, but it is the Cloisters playing cards. And this is from the Netherlands around about 1490, okay? So these were shortly after Visconti Forza, Gregor Charles VI, and also right around the time of Sola Busca, okay, and Terrell. But uh, it's certainly not the earliest playing card deck. It's maybe complete, but an earlier deck would be the Mamluk cards. Mamluk, uh, these are from... Uh, Middle Eastern countries, current Islamic uh, countries. And uh, notice they have a suit of cups here, and they have a suit of wands. Or they're not called wands, but uh, whatever they were called. Po po polo sticks, I can't remember. But uh, I don't have a deck of Mamluks. I, uh, in fact, there is no complete deck of Mamluks. But I sure would like to get one sometime. Okay, on the left I have a deck from... SC, and on the right, I have a deck from Amazon. And these are standard playing card size, and these are roughly the size of tarot cards. And I use this shipping box they gave me. I use that because the tuck box they gave me was very, very cheap, uh, and it uh, I needed more support for the cards. On the front, I have one of the cards from this deck, and on the back, I have an information card that uh, came with the Etsy deck. So I'm going to take them out now. And I'll show you a size comparison. Okay. Okay. So the playing card size, in case you want to get a perspective on it, this is a universal weight, which is a standard tarot card size. You can see it's quite a bit shorter and a little bit more narrow than a standard playing card. And the Etsy deck is roughly the same size as a tarot card. It's the same width, I'd say, and a little bit taller. So that'll give you perspective on the size of these cards here. And the suits are interesting. Well, there's 52 cards uh, in the uh, deck, just like uh, standard playing cards. Uh, there's a pip uh, part that is ace through ten. And then the courts are uh, knave, queen, and king. And uh, the suits are hunting suits. They're hunting themes. And, uh, for example, the suit of tethers is the equivalent of clubs and playing cards or wands in tarot. Uh, the suit of hunting horns is equivalent roughly to hearts, in playing cards or cups in tarot. And we have the suit of hunting dog collars, which is equivalent of diamonds or pentacles in tarot. And finally, the suit of nooses, which is the equivalent of spades or swords in tarot. So, well, let's begin. Let's examine these cards. This is our ace of tethers. Okay. And we have our two. Our three of tethers. The card stock on the Etsy deck is uh, pretty nice. It's pretty much standard uh, card stock, you know, you get with like uh, Terrell. And this playing card stock is a little bit thinner. And it's very much uh, feels like a playing card in my hand. This is the four of tethers. The five. The six. I'll put a link down below of uh, where you can get each of these decks if you're interested in them. Okay, this is the seven. Of course, the Amazon deck is less than the Etsy deck, of course. Okay, the eight of tethers. The nine. The ten. 
And now we move on to the courts. And this is the card, this knave here. This is the card that made me want to get this deck. And you wouldn't believe who turned me on to this deck. Doreen Virtue. <laughs> I kid you not. She had a um, anti-tarot video on her channel. A channel which you can't comment on, by the way. But uh, I saw this card and I said, oh, I got to have that. And uh, so Doreen Virtue uh, made me aware of, uh, of this deck. I just, I just love this jester for some reason. Uh, I think it's a really cool, enchanting card myself. So this is the equivalent of our knave once again in tethers. And we have our queen. I watched uh, Doreen Virtue uh, videos strictly for entertainment purposes. I get a kick out of her videos. Okay, and we have our king of tethers. Now moving on to the horns. The, uh, I, maybe they use these to call the dogs, I guess. Uh, so the suit of horns, we have our ace, our two, <clears throat> our three of horns. I really like these pips a lot better than conventional uh, playing card pips. I think they've got a lot of character in them, and they're very colorful. Four of horns. Got the five. I have the six. Okay, we have our seven. Our eight. Our nine of horns. And the ten of horns. And our knave of horns. All the uh, courts are different. Uh, they don't, like unlike playing cards, they don't copy the same character on each of the suits. Okay, our queen of horns. And the King of Horns. I like the coloring on these quartz too. Pretty cool. Okay, let me get these cards in order a little bit here. There we go. Okay, then we have our Ace of Dog Collars. This is our Ace. And we have our Two. We have our Three. Our four of collars. We have the five. We have the six of collars. We have the seven. Okay, we have the eight. Have the nine, the ten, and our knave of callers. They refer to him as a jack on the Amazon deck, but uh, he actually is a knave. Okay, we have our knave here. We have our queen. And the king of callers. Very stately quartz, I must say. Okay, move on to the last suit, which is nooses. And nooses were utilized uh, in the 1400s for tying small birds or small animals, game, uh, and put that around your waist then. That's how you'd carry around your, uh, your hunted animals. We have our three. And we have the four, the five, we have the six of noose, and the seven, and 
We have the eight of nooses. We have the nine. The ten. And our knave of nooses. Love the artwork on these. It's really cool. And we have our queen of nooses. And wrapping it up, we have our king of nooses. Now, oh, pretty cool deck, I think. If you're interested, I will leave a link, as I said, in the description. And uh, I collect playing cards and tarot cards. So, uh, no support cards, though. But, uh, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this. Maybe I could help you out with some information on it. And as always, thanks so much for watching.